What's going on, YouTube? It's your buddy Will from What's Up in the Sky 37 or www.whatsupinthesky.com. And you are looking at a picture that was sent to me by one of my uh, subscribers. I've got like 10 or 15 pictures I'm going through right now. It just came in this weekend. And uh, so many of them deserve videos. It's, it's so much out there. I just love that everybody's out there looking at it. Everybody got that Mars image program, it seems like. I'm getting a lot of people sending it. And uh, these new Curiosity ones are coming back and the new Opportunity rover. We're in some very interesting spots with these. And uh, the Gale Crater has turned out to be a marvelous spot for anomalies and what looks like life all over it. Um, maybe even possible life. The Opportunity rover, the next one I'm going to do has uh, what looks to be some possible life. But I'm just going to breeze through these real quick. Show you where to get this picture and then I want to uh, we're gonna hop into um, Photoshop real quick and just pull up a couple of these a little bit better now let's get rid of that false color let me just bring the temperature down a little bit we'll see which makes it look a lot more like here on earth don't mind my phone there take a look, some of these quick anomalies what looks like to be over here um, some sort of figure eight pattern in this uh, almost looks like something that was poured or a big cobra or something there I'll make that a little bit bigger see if you can see it let me sharpen it up a little bit and uh, the analysis and there's a couple more things what looks to be some blocks and this looks to be like an area of Mars that's been basically has a lot of loose sand on if you pull it out let me pull it out here real quick sorry for making you sick there see how all this loose sand is blown up on the rocks and stuff so who knows how far this goes down I would imagine see how some of these go up here now if this was some sort of building at some time um, there's a lot of things that lead me to believe this might have been like chip concrete or something. This may be some sort of synthetic rock. Um, who knows? I, mean, see, I, I think like on Earth terms, but when it comes down to it, we really have no idea. But there's some art in this one. There's a lot of stuff here. Let's take a look. Look, be some more pottery. And there's a lot of a lot of like straight line type things. And this right here looks to be some etchings. And when I get into Photoshop, you, we're going to pull that out a little bit more. Um, over here is looks like this this definitely to me when we get into Photoshop you'll see looks like some writing that's been left there and actually looks like some of the early writing on earth um, the way these block a lot of these pieces that look like they've been worked over see like the uh, perfect of the cut how counts cut it's cut this way um, it has it's been rounded there it's almost like this was part of something that you know was destroyed maybe there's a lot of beams or see now Leo let's look down here see how this beam here let me move this out of the way comes up and across and continues on and goes down and you know is actually comes straight down there and then as that happens across it there's a lot of these like little things that come out there's circle there's one two on the bottom side you know like it was connected to something and uh, like if you look up here there's uh, one that's coming across one that's coming down and then from here it goes up and around I'm wondering if this was some sort of machinery or something that you know has been sitting there for in the wind in the rain in the weather you know and who knows how the composition of Mars really is we act like we know everything about Mars we don't even know anything about our own planet when it comes down to how stuff works we think we know everything humans do we are such an arrogant species I meet so many arrogant people on this YouTube channel. It makes me sick sometimes. I love this channel, and I love you guys who are open-minded. But when the people come here with a closed mind, it's like, why even come watch my videos? You see from the little thing, little icons I stick on it, that you're going to have to make a big leap if you're going to watch my videos. But leave your closed mind in this at the door when you come to my channel. What's up in the sky 37 is not for closed-minded people, believe me. And uh, I think most of us know that and there's also more of these little things let's get back to here just like 90 degree angle little trinkets and things that come up in the air rocks that are very smooth and I can understand really smooth rocks being here especially with the wind and the because uh, you can see right off the bat that the wind is definitely blowing and it's bringing things in oh that's this too right here so now I didn't show you where to get it let me show you where to get it now I always put this stuff in the comments, not in the comments, I always say comments, I put it down in the description right under the video, so if you're not watching this on YouTube, click the little YouTube button, it'll bring you to YouTube, click the link, you'll come to this page, click full resolution, download it, however you want to do it, right click on it, download it from there, just make sure you get the full resolution, you don't want this little thumbnail. And this is, uh, this is recent, this was sold number 349, and uh, as of today it's August 11th, and I think they're up to 350 something now, 354 or 5 or something along those lines. Um, now let's go back. Let me now let me go into Photoshop here. Do a couple things. Now this is funny to me. Photoshop has filters that looks at a picture and it said it you know it tries to balance them for our eyes. 
and right away it takes out that nasty like haze they stick in here i swear it looks like a haze like this orangey you know puke orange <laughs> color all right let's see what happens when i do this let's do auto color see it see it pop out right away auto contrast and let's do auto tone bam right off the bat so it looks a lot more like earth doesn't it, it look like it could be out in arizona somewhere <laughs> something along those lines now let's take another quick look at some of these rocks down here again the uh... See I don't have a pointer when I'm doing this, let me move it to here, let me get this do 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 there we are so see how the rocks have these little like things coming off and once again let's look over here at this that look to it this cross thing right here is pretty interesting and it's like kind of built in now my theory is that Mars was totally thrashed at one point any of the buildings and and uh, maybe concrete that they poured and stuff like that is just kind of strewn about everywhere has these wires sticking out like almost like we do rebar and uh, you know if you know anything about concrete or if you know anything about construction I lost my train of thought too I was thinking about which one I wanted to lighten up where to go oh it's right up here that's right it's this piece to me this piece looks to have some sort of like old style writing we'd find here either in the US let's see what we've got here let me pull this up adjustments this one's gonna be a little bit longer a lot longer than I thought it was gonna go filter where is it what did I want to do okay image adjust it's been a long weekend thanks for everybody for the jam fest that came out to it was awesome alright we want to back some of that down exposure offset I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it looks like what they've got some checks, like just some writing there, and it doesn't look to be part of the pixelization. There's uh, up here looks to have some sort of stuff built into it as well. Doesn't seem to be part of the pixelization. We're not that at right now. What are we at? What magnification right now? Right now we are at 400. So we're at four. 0.7 times so back out a little bit more I don't know what do you think guys up here does look to be some sort of little pot on it that whole figure eight up thing this thing up here to me looks it actually looks like a big pile of elephant dung or something I'm not sure this is very interesting this block looks to be there and it just looks like Mars just had some sort of catastrophe and <laughs> everything everywhere all the buildings the rocks now you know what if this was all on another planet and smashed into Mars? Oh, I forgot this piece right here that I almost looks like just, you know, some sort of instrument that was sticking out. It's got two little balls on it, a couple little stripe pieces. I mean, it's, it's interesting. This thing right here just seems to be kind of growing off the top of that. This down here is straight. Just very interesting area. Download the picture. Let me know what you think below. I lost my train of thought there. We were talking about work and stuff like that. It's been a long weekend. Had the Mikey Jam Fest in uh, honor of my fallen brother. A lot of you guys had uh, got on the website giving condolences. All sorts of great stuff. I love you guys. are awesome. Wonderful subscribers. Take it easy. Much love. Hit my website up. Let me show you again where you get it. This is the place to be. Raw images. What's up in the sky 37 www.whatsupinthesky.com. This is Will. Take it easy.